How do we get to a matrix from a linear system? Well, there is a correspondence between a linear system and a matrix. This matrix could be called the coefficient matrix, could also be called the augmented matrix. And I have two different examples here. We're going to turn first turn this first uh, linear system into a matrix. And all we do, I am picking coefficients right here. Where did I get the ones from? How many x's are here? One. How many y's? One. How many z's? Not one, but negative one. So these are what I call the invisible coefficients that are ones or negative ones. And then of course you got three. Row two, you got two. How many y's do we have? You could say we have no y's, but really you have to put a number in. So we have zero y's plus one z. So it's two, zero, one, and then negative one, three, negative two, zero, four. If your variables are not in order, if this went z, um, x, y, I'd have to be very careful over here because this is the x, y, z column. I'm just labeling the columns. And what is the last column? The last column is constant. So x column, y column, z column, constant column. So that's why if you have an x and y swapped here, you gonna be very careful because you need to make sure your columns correspond to columns. Now we're going to take this matrix and write down what linear system does it represent. So I need to pick variables. I'll go with x and y. So I have x. I could write plus zero y. I could also be lazy and skip it. Now we have 3x minus 1y equals 7, and I can skip writing the minus 1. We have 2x plus 2y equals 2. And just put that curly bracket in there. So here's our linear system that corresponds to that matrix. Now, how did I know there was three equations? There's three rows. How did I know there was two uh, variables? There are three columns, but remember your last column is a constant column. So there's really two variable columns, one constant column. 